drawing number 1.8. This problem, uh, again, we can approach from numerous angles. Uh, really, you could literally take any view over here and, uh, and, and start drawing on it and, and you'd be okay. Um, we can start on top view and make a cube and cut everything away or on the front or on the right. Either way, the, the approach to this problem doesn't really matter. As long as, again, as long as you get the result and your origin is in the correct place. However, the way I'm going to draw it is I'm going to start on the front view. I'm going to draw the front view and I'm actually going to draw it with this 90 degrees already in there. Extrude it. Cut extrude these two squares. Cut extrude this gap that goes through there. And then do cut extrude the two holes uh, as the final step. So let's get going on this one. So like I said, I'm going to start on the front view. And we're going to start. I'm going to use the line tool. Just because I have that. Because um, we've got that angle. This angle here. Okay. Really doesn't matter too much. The sizes, uh, especially in SolidX 2014, uh, which which will scale itself. Uh, this unfortunately does not scale itself, and that's why it jumps like this. But that's okay for now. Okay, this is 168. The distance from here is 32. Okay, and we want these two lines at the top to be collinear. Press and hold control, select them both, and we'll make them collinear. This line over here is so 32. Okay, and we know that this line and this line are perpendicular. So we're going to select both lines and set them up as perpendicular. Okay, now it is a little bit off center here. So what we want to do is we just want to put a dimension from there to the midpoint. That'll be 84. Uh, that'll get that nicely in the middle uh, while it's even still uh, perpendicular. So, we're going to extrude now. Extrude. And again, we want to change the direction of the extrude because I want the origin to be on the front surface. So, we're going to extrude it with a depth of 80. Okay. So, we've got the basic block. Now, I want going to cut that T piece, T looking slot through through all. So I click on the surface, sketch, normal two, and I'm going to draw that piece on here, similar to the one we did in one of the previous exercises. Remember, please, this has to be a closed entity. It can't be half open. Okay, these two lines, collinear. That's just going to help us with defining our sketch All right, this distance here 16 and this distance here 28 and we're going to make this line and this line equal in length so that means not parallel equal okay which will mean this will always this will stay in the middle always okay the height here I've got the total height, which is 28. So from here to the top is 28. And the height over there is 16. Okay, now we just need a dimension from the side to the middle here. And remember, if you're not sure why the line is underdefined, switch off any tool you're busy working on, click on the line and drag it. See which direction it moves in. If it doesn't move up and down, then you know up and down or along the y-axis is solved. It can't move anywhere there. That means it's fully defined. It can only if it can move left and right, it means in this case along the z-axis we need to have a dimension, which means we need a dimension from here to there, which will be the two. Good. Now we're going to extrude cut through all features. Extrude cut through all. There is that slot. Next, we're going to cut the two squares out of the front face. So these, this square over here, 
and this square over here. Or if we look on the front view, this square over here and this square over there. We can do them both in one step. Might have to just select it, select them individually, but I'm pretty sure we can do it in one step. So square number one, remember complete shape. You can't just do random lines. Okay, and I'm going to make these two squares, um, I'll make this collinear, and this collinear, right, and this, and this, I'm going to make them equal. Oh, again, I clicked right off. Make them equal. That means that we only need one dimension here, and it's going to copy to the other side. Uh, it just makes it one little step less. Okay, and this is 56. 56. 65, goodness, 56, okay, and the height from the ground up is 20 millimeters. Okay, so you can see this whole block is fully defined just because of the dimensions we've put here, uh, which is great because it saves us a whole bunch of time. We don't have to do those dimensions. Features, extrude cut, and that is 60 millimeters deep. and there we have the basic block now we want to cut those two uh, circles in there click on the surface say sketch normal two and in fact we I'm going to draw both at the same time because they're on the same they're on the same sort of they're the same height from the base uh, if this was lower than this side uh, we could definitely not do this um, <coughs> so it's 20 from the edge. Okay, you can also do this in two steps. Please don't think that, well, because I'm doing it in one step, that you have to do it in one step. Uh, it may even be a bit easier. Um, 20 and 20 from that edge. Okay, and the diameter of the circle is 18. Okay, so like I said before, you're welcome to draw one circle cut extruded and then the other one cut extruded in two steps sometimes it is a bit easier to do it in, in, in more steps okay remember this is again through all okay there are our two holes and I think if I'm not mistaken that is drawing number 1.8 handled in the bag